It has been about a week since Kate Middleton made the dramatic announcement that she had been diagnosed with cancer in a video that was shared with the public. Since then, there have been rumors and speculations regarding her health and marriage. Nevertheless, in the wake of that, the enthusiasm has prompted inquiries regarding the manner in which public speculation went viral. Following a report in The Telegraph that cited government sources who were concerned about a possible intervention by Russia, China, and Iran, a member of parliament posed a question to Oliver Dowden, the Deputy Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, on Monday. The question was in response to the question of whether or not the British government was concerned about foreign interference causing the spread of conspiracy theories. In response, Dowden did not name any specific countries, but he did express his concerns regarding the proliferation of false information regarding the royal family on the internet. I send my best wishes to members of the royal family at this very difficult time, he stated in his statement. This dreadful conjecture that we have witnessed over the past few weeks serves as a reminder to us that it is essential to make certain that we are dealing with material that is both true and credible, and that we maintain an appropriate level of skepticism regarding many of the sources that we find online. Following her abdominal surgery in January, the Princess of Wales did not attend any public engagements. According to a prominent researcher who specializes in misinformation, there is evidence to assume that Russia was involved in the dissemination of conspiracy theories around the Princess of Wales. Martin Inns, a professor at Cardiff University who directs the Security, Crime and Intelligence Innovation Institute, was interviewed by the New York Times on Wednesday. Inns discussed his research, which linked 45 social media accounts that spread claims about the princess to a network of Kremlin-related disinformation that is commonly referred to as doppelganger. After Kate and Prince William were seen at the Windsor Farm shop earlier this month, accounts that are associated with doppelganger repeated claims that the photographs and videos that were published by The Sun were phony. In spite of the fact that Inna's investigation was unable to establish who was responsible for hiring the network to publish material about the princess, the Times says that her prior acts have targeted individuals and nations that are in opposition to the Kremlin. William and Kate have hosted Prime Minister Volodymyr Zelensky at the palace on multiple occasions since the beginning of the conflict in Ukraine in February 2022. The royal family has been vocal in their support of the country ever since the conflict began. According to Inns, misinformation networks may also be driven to attack the British royal family in order to further exacerbate the sense of disarray and to destroy trust in Western institutions. It causes an emotional reaction, he remarked in reference to the influence campaign on the audience. You are able to appeal to those individuals because the tale had already been framed in terms of a conspiracy the entire time. In addition, those who are in favor of the royal family become enraged. Over the course of the past week, Russian media was the most notable contributor to the dissemination of false information regarding the royal family. On March 18, a message indicating that King Charles II had passed away was posted on the Telegram app of Vedomosti, a business daily located in Moscow. Buckingham Palace eventually issued a statement that denied the rumor and added that the monarch was continuing to carry out his official and private activities. This response was issued after the report was repeated by other media sources around the country. For a very long time, the royal family has been used as pawns in various worldwide propaganda campaigns. In October 1937, for instance, Adolf Hitler was able to meet the newly abdicated King Edward VII in Germany. This meeting took place during a journey to Germany during which the king saw Nazi factories and even a concentration camp. The visit was documented through photographs that were published in newspapers all around the world. Within the context of disinformation efforts in the 21st century, royals are referenced in a more subtle manner. The death of Queen Elizabeth, which took place in September, caused a viral spread of claims that wrongly attributed her death to COVID-19 vaccines, as well as a torrent of messages from QAnon followers that linked her to suspected sex trafficking, according to a story that was published by Bill McCarthy of the AFP in 2022. It is not always possible to draw a connection between viral attacks on royals and coordinated disinformation networks. Christopher Buzzi, who works for Bot Sentinel, produced a research in 2021 that linked 70% of the unpleasant comments that were made about Meghan Markle on Twitter to just 83 persons. These users were all single-issue accounts that focused on anti Sussex comments. When Meghan Markle and Prince Harry resigned from their positions as senior royals at the beginning of the year 2020, they mentioned the unpleasant atmosphere that existed on social media as the reason for their decision. As part of the Aspen Institute's initiative to combat the spread of false information on the internet, Harry became a member of the Commission on Information Disorder in the year 2021. Immediately following the conclusion of the commission, the prince engaged in a chat with Stephen Levy, the editor of Wired, in which he not only revealed some of his observations but also referred to the results of the bot Sentinel investigation. According to what he claimed, superspreaders are like viruses in that they need to be monitored and contained.
We are aware that a small number of accounts are permitted to cause an enormous amount of chaos and destruction on the internet without anyone being held accountable for their actions. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more informative videos.